behalf of the federal government, I tender the nation's apology to the family. With the apology, the honors officially conferred on the leading faces of the June 12th struggle, has the nation been able to right the wrong of the past? June 12th pronouncement might just be a political masterstroke from the president. One of his critics, Olisai Bakuba, says the president might be a good candidate for 2019 on one condition. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Okimbaloe at Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos. It's June 12th, a day which, from all indications, will now carry a bigger weight on the Nigerian calendar. That's our focus today on the program. But first, here are the other top, uh, top uh, breaking news that we are following for you right now on Channels Television. A federal high court in Abuja has sentenced a former Plateau State Governor, Mr. Joshua Darie, to two years years in prison for criminal misappropriation and 14 years for criminal breach of trust. All charges are to run concurrently without an option of fine. The court found Mr. Darier guilty of 15 out of the 23 counts bordering on criminal breach of trust, dishonesty and diversion of funds meant for the ecological needs of Plateau State. The judge, however, did not find him guilty of the eight of eight of the charges levied against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Counsel to the anti graft Agency, Mr. Ruti Mijekas, is opposing the defense lawyer's plea for mercy and asks the court to impose a maximum sentence.